Hey guys, it's Erica. We're gonna be checking out Sujin's Agashi performance video. Really excited to be checking this out. I feel like the music video really showcased us like most, if not all, the choreography. But I still want to show love for my girl Sujin. So, and I love this debut. I think it's amazing. And the mini album is really, really good. Like I was just kind of scrubbing through some of the songs, um, as I do. As I do try to find one for my outro so I normally take a listen to like everything and then I'm like you know what this one's good for an outro um, but yeah it, I like the sound she sort of is crafting for the whole um, mini album it was really really good and there's a good amount of songs on there uh, but yeah but just just show some more love for my girl so you know what it let go and the music video is insane the sets the outfits if I get a look at it more I will Nice. Camera works good there. It's the elegance, it's the grace for me. Nice. And the gloves is such a nice touch. You don't really see gloves a lot. I don't know why. Nice. That's a little tricky for the dancers because you can't see and you just gotta kind of feel in there. And choreography feels like consistent movement. Nice. We also don't get a lot of dancing in water these days. Pretty. Nice angles. Nice. Pretty shape. Nice. Turn. Nice. Yes, leg. Nice. Pretty. And that lighting change? Nice. Interesting ending there for like a soloist. Um, I really enjoyed the choreography. I think it's really great. The use of the gloves, I'm in love. I think why they did, okay, so like, I would like to see gloves used more because K-pop choreography is very limmy. What do I mean by that? It's a lot of arm movement and just like leg movement, obviously because they have to sing, they have to rap while they're performing. So having choreography where you can isolate uh, the torso um, is very, very important. And if you're moving your arms a lot, it's creating movement visually, you know what I mean? So I kind of wonder why we don't see that as much, but then I kind of sort of thought like, oh, cause if they mess up, it's gonna be very, very obvious. If your lines aren't on point, if your shapes, if your angles are not it's gonna be very very obvious it's gonna be very loud if there's a mistake so maybe that's why but the gloves are so genius um especially for all the movements that are being made and the shapes that they make it's just adding to that effect which is really really great and again especially those shapes when you're seeing like this red just like oh it is so pretty um i really liked it the kind of only ones i could think of would be like that one tvxq <laughs> that one, I don't know if people even remember. Like, it's not really as much talked about these days. Oh my god, what was it called? I even forgot the name of the song, but um, yeah, there's a, it's from like 2012, girl, that TVXQ comeback where they had like the glowing gloves and stuff that created really dope visuals. There's also, um, let me look at the name of that song first. Um, TVXQ K 
Catch Me. It was Catch Me. Oh my god. I don't know if anybody watching remembers that, but I got triggered. Um, but <laughs> for like that, in terms of like the cool visuals that you can create when you have like uh, something part of like costumes like that and like in, in that sort of way. So um, costumes are very, very important. I love how they kind of kept it one step for this one. Um, I think it was really, really kind of smart because the set is so beautiful. The vibes are just there already and the lighting changes were really good to switch up the visuals a little bit um, to make it a little bit more compelling. But the camera angles were really, really great throughout, except for that one. It was like in the second verse or the second pre-chorus where there was like, an, uh, there was like a, a line over here and then the dancers were doing something else over here and it wasn't exactly down in the line so you couldn't really get that effect of it. Um, but I, I understand wanting to show the full what's happening there. Um, but sort of getting, getting straight down the line. I don't know why it's been a thing recently to where cameras are not getting straight down the line if it's like the line sort of movement and then they're creating like a picture or something a shape um and they just they don't get it and i'm like what that's literally what that moment is for you know what i mean but um anyways uh choreography is really great she has this elegance this grace to her within the choreography and it's well choreographed um i really enjoyed it the dancers kill it sujin kills it so yes i really really loved it go to pretty thoughts to come down below to talk about sujin's I got she performance video. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and want to see more of my videos, go and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, threads, or in the description down below, or at the end screen. If you like gaming content, I have a gaming channel. It's called Erica Just Games. Links in the description down below. Currently playing Horizon Zero Dawn, so hope you can join me over there for that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, I